In this video, I'm going to show you how to put your Rails application live on the interwebs. All right, so for this uh, tutorial, I am going to deploy the Note Note application week 11 of my 12 and 12 challenge. Uh, we are going to deploy it to a hosting service called Ninefold. I researched a few different ones, uh, Heroku and DigitalOcean, for example. I chose Ninefold because of its uh, compromise between its ease of uh, deployment, it is super easy to deploy mm. on Ninefold, and the cost. It is a bit cheaper than uh, Heroku, so I decided to go with Ninefold. So let's get started. Um, open up your application um, in Sublime Text and open up the gem file. So what we need to do is um, we need to take SQLite 3, uh, let's copy that and put that in a development group. So we're gonna do group, go on development, do, and then gem SQLite 3 end. And then ninefold runs on a PG gem, a PostgreSQL. So let's do add the PG gem inside of a group. Um, production, do, and then we'll do gem, pg, end. And that is all you need to do. Um, so from here, go back to your terminal. All right, and once you're back in the terminal, run bundle install to uh, update your gem file with the uh, SQLite 3 gem inside the development group and the pg gem inside the production group. So you need to have a Git repository set up in order to deploy to Ninefold. And I think that's pretty common for most other uh, hosting services as well. So once you have it set up through Git, what we need to do is just uh, do a Git status. And you can see we changed the gem file. So all I have to do is Git add, or I mean Git commit with the message, uh, add PG gem. And then once that's done, git push. And then that will push up the latest to your GitHub repo. So from there, what you need to do is go to uh, Chrome or whatever uh, browser you are using and go to ninefold.com and sign up for uh, their hosting service. Uh, the cool thing about um, Ninefold is they dock the first $50, so you can deploy a app, um, your first application for free, which is pretty cool. So once you do that, uh, enter your name, username, and uh, password, and then it will send you a confirmation email, just confirm that. And then once you do that, you'll go to a screen that looks like this, the Ninefold dashboard. So it is super easy to deploy our application. All we need to do is click on the deploy app and then it takes us to uh, a page where we need to specify our repository. So I am already signed in through GitHub, um, but you could use Bitbucket or uh, just enter the Git URL. Um, so what I'm going to do is under GitHub, I'm going to select my repository. So I'm going to select the note note um, repository and then it searches for branches. So I'm gonna select the master, and then you could see it uh, It does a quick check on your GitHub repo, um, reads the gem file, and it makes sure we are using uh, PostgreSQL instead of SQLite 3 and all that. So uh, automatic deployment, um, I'm just gonna skip that for now, but you can always set that up later if you want. So the next step, uh, choose your environment. I'm just going to do the default for now, um, do a combined uh, application architecture. My location, US West uh, web server, I'm gonna click the uh, 1.5 gig. And then do you want a uh, new database built? I'm gonna select yes, and I'm just gonna pick the default uh, 25 gig size. And then um, I don't want any background workers for this demo. Um, and you can see, that it will be free because it's only $46.91 and they docked the first $50 off. So let's go to the next step. Uh, you can name your application. I'll just call this note note. 
and then you can define a Ruby version. Um, I'm just going to use Ruby 2.1.5, and then you can select any add-ons, for example, New Relic to monitor your app or uh, Send Grid to send emails. Um, I'm just going to skip those for now, and then all you have to do is hit Deploy. Uh, this does take a few minutes, probably be a probably about uh, 20 minutes depending on your uh, internet connection. So I am going to just uh, speed through this real quick and then I'll be back once it's finished. All right, now that that is completed, let's uh, take a look. Let's click on the domain uh, Ninefold generates for us. All right, look at that. So let's try to log in. Actually, we need to sign up first, obviously. So I'll do hey at mckinseychild.me, enter our password, and sign up. Let's try to create a new note real quick. This is a test note. Hello world. Beautiful. Everything's working good. So now this application is live on the web and we could share the link with others. So there's one last thing I want to do before we end this tutorial. I want to install the Ninefold CLI so that we have access to the console, um, among other stuff, um, on the Ninefold server. So let's go back to our um, terminal. And what you need to do is run gem install uh, Ninefold. All right, and once that is installed, we need to um, we need to quit out of our terminal. So let's quit that, and let's open iTerm again. Then I'm going to um, go back into that directory just so I can run the server if needed. All right. Then from here, you need to do um, ninefold sign in and then enter your username and your password. Whoops, mistyped that. Let me try that again. Ninefold sign in. All right, and now that we are signed in, you can do things like uh, do ninefold help to see all the various commands. We can do ninefold uh, console, and we will jump into the ninefold. Uh, well, first it will give you a list of your applications. Uh, since I only have one in here, um, it automatically signs me into that. Uh, but from here, you can do um, things like uh, user.count. Since we just signed up, you can see how many users we have, and you can interact with your database and stuff. Um, very, very useful. All right, so uh, that wraps this up. So I hope you guys found this as a good overview for uh, how to get your application live on the web. All right, we're all finished. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up on Twitter. It's at McKinsey Child. And uh, if you want to follow along for more, just uh, subscribe below or uh, sign up for my newsletter on my website at mckinseychild.me. All right, see you guys next time.